You, you act like a little boy that doesn't want to accept that he's wrong. And you, like a sad old man that doesn't want to be happy. That's it. For over 10 years, she's been making us laugh on Modern Family. And these days, Sofia Vergara is a household name. But the beauty who shares a hometown with Shakira didn't have an easy road to travel. Her rise to fame has been anything but a laugh, from personal tragedies and surviving cancer to harsh Hollywood stereotypes and dangerous men. Her life has been beset by hardships time and again, but Sophia has consistently managed to rise above it. What exactly did she think she would burn in hell for? Tune in to learn more about how resilient attitude may just be the key to both Sophia Vergara's success and her survival. Vagata was one of six children born to a homemaker and a cattle farmer in Colombia. Although she was scouted for a hit Pepsi ad at 17, she forsook the spotlight at the time, choosing instead to study dentistry and marry her childhood sweetheart. You know, being a doctor takes so much time and uh, years of study, it's difficult. So the next best thing for me at that time was to be a dentist. So I went to dentist school, but um, I didn't finish. A year later, at 20 years old, she gave birth to their son, Manolo. Sadly, the couple divorced the following year and Vagata moved to the capital with her son, where she was soon doing well as a model and starring in a telenovela. Despite Vagata's success in Colombia, when she was asked to host a travel show based in Miami, she immediately took it. She'd become wary of gang violence in her native country and saw the new job as an opportunity to give her son a better life. However, good fortune didn't last long for the future A-lister, as she tragically lost someone close to her. While Vagata was filming her show in Miami, her older brother Rafael was murdered as part of a failed kidnapping attempt. Although their economic status somewhat protected the members of the Vagata family, the same advantages also made them potential targets. The murder remains unsolved, and Sophia still mourns her brother to this day. She was heartbroken by the loss and wanted to make sure her family was never a target for violence ever again. My brother passed away the same year that your sister passed away. Man. Yeah, I can feel your pain. I know what this is. I know what it is to have somebody taken from you without you knowing. Her brother's murder led to Sophia moving the rest of her family to Miami. I wanted to be with them. So I got a big house and we all lived together, she said. Still reeling from the loss of her beloved brother, Vagata was dealt another crippling blow. This time, it had to do with her own health. When she was just 28 years old, Sophia received a scary diagnosis. While at an appointment for her son Manolo, a doctor convinced her to get her thyroid checked. When the lump on her neck tested positive for cancer, she was scared. I felt totally healthy, and suddenly they tell me I have cancer, she recalls. Vagata bravely underwent surgery to remove her thyroid, but the health problems didn't stop there. After the surgery, the famous actor was diagnosed with hypothyroidism, a condition she's had to manage ever since. Her diagnosis may surprise many, but she speaks about it openly and has served as a spokesperson for campaigns to educate people on the condition. At an event to launch the Follow the Script campaign in 2013, the actor said she had difficulty accepting the reality of her condition after the surgery. However, surviving cancer has taught Vagata to focus on balance in her life. What I do, what I've done in the past 10 years is been very strict with myself, taking my pill exactly when I need to take my medication, getting uh, my test done every three to six months. She wants to be healthy while also indulging every so often. You shouldn't do too much of anything, she said at the event. You have to live your life and be happy because I think being happy and not stressing all the time also helps you. But it's important to go to the doctor, have your checkups, work out, eat healthy, everything. The trouble wasn't over for Sophia. Over the next decade, her younger brother Julio battled substance abuse issues that resulted in about 30 arrests and, sadly, his deportation back to Colombia. You know very well the sickness of addiction. My family is completely full of this horrific sickness, and I totally understand. To see somebody dying over 10 years, little by little, that's the worst punishment. Now he's like another person. Sofia Vergara has been through so much, but her biggest battle to date was with her ex-fiancé, Nick Loeb. 
He took her to court in a custody battle over embryos the couple had created as they planned to live the rest of their lives together. Following the couple's split, Loeb tried unsuccessfully to sue Vagata in a California court for custody of them. Fortunately for her, the lawsuit got dropped after the court asked Loeb a bombshell question. Lawyers wanted him to identify two women who obtained abortions after he'd impregnated them. The lawsuit's ultimate purpose was to void a contract signed by Vagata and Loeb, which stipulated that neither party had the right to use the embryos without the other's consent. Furthermore, Loeb wanted Vagata's parental rights to the embryos terminated on the grounds of abandonment and neglect. Fortunately, the court dismissed the case again, all for a bizarre reason. It was only because the former couple conceived the embryos in California, which meant that the Louisiana court system had no jurisdiction over them. Crazy. It all just goes to show you, you can never predict what's going on in someone's personal life, even if everything seems perfect on the outside. The actor tried several failed sitcoms over the years before striking gold with her portrayal of Gloria Pritchett on Modern Family. Everything since then has been pure gold professionally, but Sofia Vergara didn't have such great luck as for her personal life. This same year Vergara received her cancer diagnosis, her then-boyfriend Chris Pastiello was arrested on charges of racketeering, felony murder, and bank robbery. Fortunately, the two broke up even before he was convicted for his crimes, but Vergara's attraction to bad boys hadn't waned. Some habits die hard. In 2004, she reportedly had a fling with former Colombian drug lord Andreas Lopez Lopez. In short, even throughout the relationships that followed, of course including an engagement to Nick Loeb, Vergata's love life was rocky at best, leading her from one heartbreak to another. Even the Mission Impossible star himself tried to lure Sofia into Scientology, vetting her personally for the role of his wife. If she had been interested, she would today be the next Mrs. Cruz. Ultimately, the relationship was doomed from the start because she sincerely believed that she would be struck down by God and burn in hell if she joined Scientology. It's not like you only have to please your husband. You have to toe the line for all Scientology. Mark Headley, an ex-Scientologist, told Vanity Fair, You can't do anything to displease Scientology because Tom Cruise will freak out. Thankfully, Vagata exited the situation before it truly began. Though Sofia Vagata's fame might seem like it came quickly because of the instant success of Modern Family, it didn't. The Colombian accent that is part of her charm is also a hindrance to her for a specific reason. You can't compare the opportunities you get to an American-accented actress. When they get 10 scripts a week, I get two a month. When she began acting, she hired a coach to try and help her get rid of her accent. But my auditions were getting worse because I was forgetting to act and focusing on the pronunciations. Former ABC president Steve McPherson believed in her and kept her signed to her deal with the network, even after two failed comedies. McPherson's loyalty to Vagata resulted in Modern Family co-creators writing a role specifically for her. No one else ever attempted to be Gloria, as if they could. Vergata admitted that while being an immigrant is very hard, she's grateful for all the opportunities she's found in the U.S. From my experience, it's a country that has given me an opportunity to raise my family, to work and make money. Apart from having trouble getting auditions because of her accent, her looks, mainly her blonde hair, seem to have been a problem as well. When she started as an actor, because of her accent, her body, and her personality, quote, it was not the stereotype of the Latina woman in Hollywood, so they didn't know where to put me. The blonde hair wasn't matching. The moment she dyed her hair dark, it was better for her work. I can't believe when I saw these pictures, you're not a natural brunette. No. That you're actually a blonde. Yeah, well, now I'm a little bit lighter, but I, when I came to Hollywood, I really put my hair really dark. Who would have thought? Her hair color perfectly suits her skin tone and enhances her beauty. Vergata might have taken a minute to make a splash in the industry, but she definitely worked for her fame. Often, I haven't been the youngest or the most intelligent girl in the room, she once told Women's Health, but I always, always am the hardest working one. Dreams don't happen if you just sit down and accept things. Hard work has always been of the utmost importance to Vergata, and that didn't change when she became a household name. The actor explained that she spent her first six years on the show working overtime and at weekends. I worked like an animal. 
I wanted to take advantage of my 15 minutes of fame because you never know. Amen, Sophia. Amen. After years of putting herself first, working so hard, raising a child on her own, and handling a dangerous medical condition, she met her right one. Joe Manganello reportedly first laid eyes on and fell in love with Vagata when he spotted her at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. The only problem? Vagata was engaged to another man, Nick Loeb. When Vagata and Loeb split a few weeks later, Manganello made his move. Manganello flew out to New Orleans, where she was on location for a movie, and took her out on a date. And boy, was he successful. Within six months, they were engaged, and later on, the lovebirds were happily married. The best part? They are endlessly supportive of each other. It's been smooth sailing ever since. We even talk to each other all the time in this little voice that we made up, like a couple of dorks. Whoever heard us would say, what's their problem, Sophia says. Throughout it all, Sophia Vagata has stuck the course and done everything in her power to better the lives of herself and her family. Despite the very real struggles she went through as a single working mom, a grieving sister, and a cancer patient, she managed to provide for her son, succeed beyond expectations in her career, and find love at long last. Vagata has come a long way, and we can only imagine what she'll accomplish next.